Hello, my name is Matthias Eitner and I'm the project manager for our newly uh, launched product Extreme Event. Like the name of the product says, it is made for extreme conditions where our customers expect high pressure events or heat release on a regular basis. This is the first chamber which has the so-called tertiary explosion protection and it is certified by the TÜV institution. How did we achieve this? We have an inner chamber design which, is, which has a high pressure capability of up to 1.5 bar. This is made by a design of stainless steel and reinforcement. And we have a fireproof design um, with a ceiling which is temperature resistant of up to 650 degrees. Um, on the top of the chamber we have the pressure release mechanism which would open in case of a pressure event. Four flaps would be, will be open in case of a pressure in increase in the chamber. We have two access ports uh, for supply air and for exhaust air in the chamber uh, which we can use to connect um, with an external temperature control unit. We can achieve temperatures in the extreme event chamber with the temperature control unit from minus 40 up to 200 degree plus. In, a, in the case of a foreseen event, these flaps can be closed within approximately one second to separate the, the extreme event chamber to the temperature control unit. In case of battery abuse testing, our customers face the problem that the events in most of the cases are not um, able to foreseen. So that's why we have additional um, safety valve in the fixed piping between the chamber and the external temperature control unit. This safety valve will help our customers to be able to decouple the pressure coming from the chamber and the flame to the external temperature control unit in order to protect the unit. The rack can be used for additional equipment. Here we have also a drain where the customers can um, suck up uh, liquid in the chamber or it is also possible um, to um, clean the chamber and to afterwards to suck up the, the contaminated water. In the rack we are also able to uh, place uh, inertization or um, bench system which we would feed through, through the bottom of the chamber by additional access ports and the customers are able to perform uh, mechanical tests, uh, for example nailing tests or crash tests. So far this is a mechanical door lock. We are also able to integrate the sensor on the door so that our customers know if the door is closed or the door is open for safety aspects. The access ports are designed that the customer can feed uh, electrical equipment or other measuring equipment into the chamber. Beside the side ports on the, on the left and the right side, we have also one access port here on the front door, which can be used to, for the integration of a high-speed camera. And uh, additionally, we have the side glass here to um, get a view into the chamber. And also we have a LED uh, lighting system here, so that uh, the lighting uh, situation can be improved in the chamber. We have a side glass which can be replaced from the customer. If there would be some pollution, we are able to replace it in a short time. We have also additional equipment um, for the replacement of the inner shell in the chamber. So if there would be a pollution, the customer can replace the inner shell and um, is able to clean it in a simple way. The, at the moment, the major application for our extreme event is the battery abuse testing, uh, where our customers have to conduct uh, 
tests with the batteries which are outside of the manufacturer's specification. In this case, we deal uh, with fire and even explosions on a regular basis. Besides the battery abuse testing, we have other application areas with our extreme event, for example, in the field of art testing or in the field of hydrogen, where our customers make tests with, for example, parts of fuel cell components. But the extreme event is a modu modular system which can be configured uh, by the customer wishes. So we have the possibility to add additional equipment um, onto the extreme event according to the wishes of our customers. If they want to perform temperature tests, we can uh, access uh, um, temperature control unit uh, via, via piping. And we have also the possibility to integrate the bench in the bottom of the chamber to be able uh, to perform mechanical tests, which means nailing tests or crash tests. Our ongoing development focus is that we design a closed uh, upper construction, especially for our customers in the field of battery abuse testing. Here our customers, they have to deal with the emissions of uh, critical um, harmful gases and particles. And with the closed chamber design, we are able to contain it and we are able to suck the, the air up and um, clean it with an additional filtering unit, which we are also developing at the moment.